All right, what's up guys and welcome to Ghost Recon Wildlands. I played the beta, uh, the two betas, the open beta and the closed beta, and it, it's it's a fun game, not overly impressive, uh, but it's it's a fun game. I thought I'd check out the full game here. Shout out to Game Riot Army. You know Game Riot. You, you guys probably know Game Riot. He's a big ass channel, but uh, he hooked me up with the code. He's a legend. Love that guy. But yeah, um, he's doing a series on it too. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a, a full series, but we'll see. If you want to see... Uh, this as a series or see some more videos, maybe some co-op videos on release and shit like that because no one no, 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 I can't speak English. None of my friends have it right now because it's pre-release or whatever. I think it's March 4th today comes out on March 7th on Tuesday. So yeah, if you guys want to see some co-op videos around then maybe uh, drop a like on the video. Let me know in the comments. We're going to jump in to the story though right about now. We unlocked a lot of new shit there. That was a lot of stuff. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying? That I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. At least he's honest. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization. Which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca. Produce our own cocaine where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Olivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Of creating a narco state. The nation of Santa Blanca. All right, let's go. That man's a psychopath. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, 
and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. Right, here's our guy. He looks quite cool, I think. We'll give him a nice scar, too. Uh, a bump on his nose? No, that's kind of weak. We'll give him a, a razor slash there. That looks cool, I think. And, uh, yeah, he looks pretty badass now. We'll go into his clothes, body details, facial paint, no. Right arm tattoo? We can do a right arm tattoo, maybe. Ooh, that's badass. I love the way they have, like, actual sleeves here. A dye sleeve? Oh, that's fucking sick. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going with a dye sleeve for sure. Left arm tattoo. No, thank you. No, thank you. Chimera. Eh, I don't really like that one too much. Traditional skull. I might go with that Randy Orton style. That's badass. The ghostly skull. I'm going with that. All right. Our tattoos are dope. Our guy looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, tops. Can't even see it, honestly, because of the fucking big-ass armor we have on. Oh, I like the gray, though. Seeing as my name is Apex, I think I'll go with the Apexes. Just the kind of standard ones. Do we need a, a fucking vest that big, dude? Do we need that, honestly? I don't think it gives you any extra fucking armor or anything, right? I want to be able to see the tat, so I'm going with a tank top. Alright, we'll leave the headset on with the balaclava, even though it kind of looks dumb. I don't really care. Eh, we got a cool enough backpack. I don't really care about that. Oh, you know what I might go for instead of the balaclava, actually? is one of those uh, bandanas. Yeah, they're badass, dude. They're much cooler, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. For sure. We're good to go now. I think we're good to go. Save your character. Hell yeah. I think he looks pretty badass. Let's get into it. We'll play on normal difficulty. I don't know how hard this game is, but I remember being, like, decently challenging. I, I'm, I'm playing by myself, not in co-op right now, so... I don't want to play on hard, right? We're ready to go. A Ubisoft Paris production. We played this intro quite a few times, but here we go again. Our guy looks cooler than ever. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Ooh, baby. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ash. field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. Ooh, roasted. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, 
No matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. Oh, I'm ready for him. I'm fucking ready for him. Think I'm not? <laughs> Let's go. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pacatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Here we are, at the starting point. Once again. And we're ready to rock and roll. Soldiers, this is the help you promised. That Sandoval promised. A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here. Remember, these soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari. Leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Oh baby, I won't. So, I've actually saved Amaru like twice already in the closed beta and the open beta. So I know what I'm doing at least. I'll probably still do it, uh... Garbage, but you know, it's fine. That was a long intro. Quite a long intro. Okay, so we got guys with us now. I don't think you had these guys with you in the beta. I tell you, I'm not too if I was playing with someone else. And these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? Get in, boys. End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find Amaru. Ooh-ah. Ooh -ah, baby. Yeah, you definitely didn't have these guys with you in the betas, so... It's kind of a new added feature. I think that might have been because I was playing with someone, though. I don't know. Maybe you did have them in the beta if you were playing solo. I've never played this game by myself. This is my first time playing this game solo, so... We'll see what it's like in single player. Wow, I nearly crashed. Oh, that was actually skills to pay the bills right there. Okay, let's get up here and uh, fuck this lieutenant up. I remember here there's some bad guys. Let's go straight up these steps in the car. I don't care. Okay, this guy right here. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Okay, how do I get out of the car? There you go, Jesus. Okay, let's send the drone up here. Drone is up. 
One there. Two more there. Carrying submachine guns. Good eyes on the target. Let's move. Okay, we're good. Let's take this guy out stealthily. Boom! Get wrecked, son. Get your neck snapped. Sorry about that. Synchronized shot. Moving to position. Ready. Call the shot. That was beautiful. Nice synchronized shot. Okay. Heads up, hostile presence. There's more hostiles up here, so we need to be careful. I think there's only one more up here, but we, we'll see. There's a 20 second cooldown on the sink shot, which is interesting. Okay, I don't think there's actually anyone else here. Oh, I see him. I see him. Ooh, that guy's right there. They got, our target is up here this time. He was down below before, I remember. I'm gonna take out the gun to watch tower first. He's history. Down. They're gonna see you. Doesn't matter. I've got him already. Where you got him? I'm gonna interrogate him by the cliff here. I'll throw you off if you don't fucking. I'm gonna throw you off if you don't. If you don't tell us what we need to know. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Fast, 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 please. <laughs> hey, is there more people down here? Amaru. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find Hold up. Okay, there's guys in here. Frag out. Get some. Get to cover. Move. Engaging tangos. I'm good, baby. Don't worry about it. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna die. Not all of them dead. Let's get moving. Okay, beautiful Cartel stuff. isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Get in, boys. Hang on, I'll drive. Just get in. Just get in, boys. Come on. Good you to go. get one more. He said good to go as if we're just gonna leave this guy behind. Get in, please. Why would you want to leave him behind, sir? That's messed up. Whoa, I nearly hit that guy. The driving's actually not bad in this game, like, it, compared to other games. Uh, open world games that have driving in them. It's, it's really not that bad at all. Oh god, what am I doing? You know what, it's fine. I'm going off-road. Doesn't matter. Oh, well kind of matters if you can't see where you're going. There you go, that's better. Down the river we go. This is just such clutch driving here. And I'm sure that we shaved a lot of time off there. At uh, not. And now we're going down the hill. And there's enemies just above us here, is there? Yes, there is. See you later, guys. <laughs> Suckers. Okay, we're going left here. We gotta go free Amaru. So why not try to do it a, a little bit stealthier? We, we got, got a lot of support on the videos for the beta and the the closed beta and the open beta. They both got over a thousand views and shit like that. So yeah, if you guys want to see more on this, just hit it with a like. I am doing a Horizon Zero Dawn walkthrough right now, which I'd greatly appreciate if you check that out, guys. Because it's not getting that many views, but it's actually an awesome game. If you haven't heard of it, it's an open world kind of action adventure RPG uh, by Guerrilla Games. And it's well worth either purchasing yourself or watching me play it online but if you could go and hit my part one with a like i'd be forever in your debt because i'm trying to hit 80 likes on that part i think i have like 67 68 right now so one of you guys could be the 69th like that's a kill that's a clean kill right there there's another one right here though
Eyes on two Sicarios. The barn inside. Boom. You're dead. Oh shit, this guy's going over to see if his buddy's okay. I got a third. I'm garbage. That was History. bad. Yo, cartel gunman. Alright, breathe easy. Okay, let's go in. Who's who's spotting me? Why do we have to use our hind gun if our big gun is suppressed anyway? Doesn't make much sense, does it? Shit, there's two guys in there. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck the stealth. I'm all about this. Who's behind us? Who's behind us? I couldn't see anyone behind us. Yep, there's guys behind us, which is annoying. I'm dead. Did they come out of that car there? No, I think we're good. That was just one guy. I don't know. Could you die, please, sir? Okay, I'm gonna free Amaru. Let's go. Amaru, get out of here, son. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's get in the chopper. Get to the chopper, Amaru. Why is he not coming with us? Did I have to press something on him? Oh, yes, I have to lead him. Come on, Amaru, come. What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Get to the chopper. No, nope, don't want to be a passenger. Get in, get in. I'll pilot. Everyone, everyone, is everyone getting in? Can we just leave them behind? I, I would love to know what happens if we just leave them behind. Get in, guys. Tango down. I'm gonna have to take off without you guys if you don't get in now, now, now. Okay, go on. We good. Where are you taking? Back to your friends. Entonces Pacatari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Alright. Get the chopper over the mountain. I remember how many times I nearly cr crashed the helicopter. It was pretty funny. We're a little too close to the mountain here, so I'm going to try and get a little bit of air. Oh my god, oh my god. Dropping just a little bit too quickly there. <laughs> Extract the Maru to attack you at Echo. Right. Not a bad looking world, to be honest. I have just been playing Horizon Zero Dawn. It's not quite that pretty, but, you know, it's not bad. And, uh, yeah, let's park up here. How do I do this again? Oh, yeah, L2. And just drop down, kind of. We're going much too fast not to crash here. Okay. We got kind of lucky there. Just get out of there, boys. Get out of there, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that thing's gonna blow up any second. <laughs> Yo, I got a weapons case here. We'll stick with what we have for now. I'm liking it. There's a weapons cache over here, though. We'll take that. Whatever it is. Awesome. Ooh, a sniper. Space. Nice. We got a sniper rifle. So we can use a sniper instead of a submachine gun. But for right now, I don't really need a sniper. We'll see when we go a little bit further on. Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not. were not. Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si, Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval was when you questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Sounds good, boys. Turn over every rock. Where do we go now? Amar is extracted. Bowman's file and Yuri and Polito is coming through. I 
Good start. We got our first trophy for Ghost Recon Wildlands, baby. That's I wonder what they, they all get on bikes, too. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on their chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Murrow, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend. What is this? A video file on who? There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel. Ricky. And the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER. All shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. That's disgusting. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. That's fucked up, honestly. Jesus. That's dark. El Murrow's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri and Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Atari. Just tell me what you need. Look at these there skills. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Look at these skills, man. Consider it done. I'm taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. Oh my god, we're Hold spotted on. by everyone. Jesus lord. That went well. I did not know they were all enemies. Holy fuck. Hold on, man. I'll be right there. Pick me up, please. All right, so we are right in front of the convoy. It's coming up here. We're gonna... We need some grenades or something, dude. Order assault on this motherfucking thing. Deploying drone. Stay sharp. No, that's not what I meant to do. They're trying to escape in the truck. Frag out. Engaging. Ship. Frag out. I'm near the culeros. Alright, we gotta come up and ram this thing from behind. That did not work. That worked in the beta right. Oh shit, they're right here. Kill the driver, kill the driver. Have you killed the driver yet, people? There you go, that's better. Okay, now we gotta tag the truck. Oh, wrong button. Tagged. We need that Beautiful. Convoy on the move. I've got eyes on multiple vehicles, including a commo truck. Let's get after it. The rebels are hurting for decent comms. We could loot the truck and share the love with the Qatari's people. I don't want Radio this jeep anymore, secure. actually. We'll tell the rebels where to come get their new toys. Let's move. Alright, sounds good. 
All these cars are fucked up. Oh god, this guy's right here. I think there's only one guy, but... He's about to die. Oh no, there's more than one. This is Nomad. The convoy is secure. Oh sorry, dude, I didn't know you were a civilian. Fuck. <laughs> you hopped out of the car so quick. There is something else you can do for us. I have prepared a speech for the people of Bolivia. It is a call to arms that we will broadcast from Itaqua. Santa Blanca is going to send troops to shut that down as soon as they hear the transmission. Get in, boys. You see my problem? I need someone dependable to find a radio transmitter and protect it until the broadcast is complete. Okay, okay sounds good. Time. We'll get it done. Sounds fine. That radio is so damn annoying. Will ever just stay off? Okay, this is where we're actually going right here. Okay, let's be quiet about it. Let's send in some intel. Or send in a drone. Rather. There's one. Two. Oh, there's a helicopter there. Any over here? There's one right there. I've got eyes on the captain. I got another. That's five. Okay, there's quite a few people, is what we're trying to say here. I see vehicles with guns on them. Just spotted one with submachine guns. We got a Sicario next to the soccer field. That's a kill. We put the hornet's nest. Fuck, did we? Get in the car, guys. Get in. Someone get on the gun. Now. Yes. Is this guy getting in? What are you doing? Alright, fuck you. You can just stay out. Shoot. Shoot them, idiot. Opening fire. That's good. Their lieutenant's running away. Oh, what the fuck? He's taking down the chopper with that shit. Up for stealing a helicopter. That one's packed full of supplies the rebels could use. Let's grab Damn, it. this gun is insane. Take out this last guy, please. He dead? He's dead. Okay, we took them all out. <laughs> that was easy, dude. That gun is insane. Jesus, that's OP. Alright, we got some more intel. Suppressor? I know about suppressors. Come on. We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They could pay us back later. Damn it. Guess the rebels are going to have to go without for a bit. What? So where are we going to now? Find intel? That's not too far away. We can go there. No, I don't want to be the gunner. Do I want to be the gunner? No, I don't. I'm the driver, damn it. Okay, let's go, people. Now all of you just get in this time, because I'm getting sick of you guys taking ages to get in the car. One of you better go on the gunner spot. There you go. There you go. That's better, boys. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Is that a skill point right there? Stay in the car, guy. Oh, God. It's a metal. Okay. All their money. The cartel would make a nicer metal. Now get in! Alright. Now, that was a nice, clean way to do that. We absolutely fucked them up with this badass Jeep with a machine gun on top of it, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, that's just through this field, is it? Okay, probably not the wisest idea to come through this field, but we might come up behind them. If we even get through here in one piece in this Jeep. This Jeep can take it, right? It's just down here. Okay. Not gonna come up behind him, definitely, but whatever. His uni dads here. Ugh. Goddamn uni dads. They're the worst. Is this a uni dad camp in the first place? I think it is. Can we go in the front door just guns blazing? Because we have got a jeep with a gun on it. Maybe I should perhaps. Ready? Open fire. No, no, that's not even what I meant. I meant to send in a drone, but okay, open fire, I guess. I pressed up on the d-pad to bring in a drone, but I guess uh, we're opening fire instead. Oh, 
contacto con el enemigo. Salgan del servicio. Oh shit, they're coming towards us. Well, we better get the hell inside while they're all outside. That'd be a great idea, right? Might actually work. How do we get in here? Oh, right here. Yeah, I might be able to get in and out silently here because they're all distracted. This could work. I think our guys are shooting at them, actually. We have eight skills available, too. Shit. Someone's right over there. That was perfect. Hack the computer. Alright. Good shit. We're doing good to find into. Oh god, no, no, no. Guys, help me out here. Okay, what are we supposed to be doing now? What's our next story mission? Down here. We're still finding intel. The rebel movement in Itakua is in bad shape and Pakatari needs our help. The more we support him now, the more we support, the more support we can expect. Yes, okay. Should we take this truck out here? I mean, why not, right? Guys? You guys getting in? Guys, get in. Get in. Oh, I only think that one can get in with me. Okay. Alright, we're in a Unidad. Fucking big ass truck getting away from these fools. Oh god, there's cartel on our ass now as well, I think. As well as the Unidad, which is not good. Oh, sorry, dude. I killed a civilian and I ran him over in a truck. Of course I did. I'm a terrible person, I know. I didn't mean to do that. I apologize, people. We lost two of our guys, unfortunately. We only have this one guy with us now. But uh, it's no big deal. You know, lost two of our men. It's fine. Everybody stay calm. Ooh, nearly killed another civilian there. Another three or four, maybe. I nearly actually rammed that van into them. Okay, we're just going from place to place getting more intel, it seems. Hopefully these guys just appear with us up here. That'd be great. Okay, let's get out. Set up a, a drone here and see what's good in here. Is there many guys in here? That's the Last of Us music right now. What the hell? Yeah, I really can't see that many guys here. There's a f I hear a few, but I can't see that many there. So they must be inside the building. We'll take it slow. Take it slow, baby. Check this spot out for intel. That's what I'm doing. It's a civilian, it would seem. Okay, this is a place with like mostly civilians, it seems. Can't see any enemies. I'm guessing they're in the buildings, though. Take it stealthy, boys. I don't see anyone. Maybe there's no enemies in here. There's a civilian right there. Okay, this is a civilian's place, then. We're just getting... Intel in a normal building, it would seem. Oh, cool. No fighting. <laughs> um. Found an SB network station. Let's get after it. Pakatari's got some brass ones. I'll give him that. Give that fucker an inch, and he'll take a mile. Okay. Rebels are allies. Rebel ops unlock support skills. So it seems like the main mission right now is it just done. a couple of side missions. Until this one right here. Okay. Start and defend the rebel radio. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, where are we going from here? I don't even know. We need a vehicle. How far away is this place? 
Oh, it's literally so far away. My goodness. All right, guys, that's where we're going to end part one then. I'll make my way down there. If you guys want to see more on this game, we'll, we'll put our skills and shit up there now in a minute. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you want to see this turn into a series or a couple more videos at least, just drop a like. And I shall see... Well, I can't speak English. My dog is just annoying me. Uh, if you want to see more videos on this, yeah, just hit, a like, hit it with a like and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.